sweet. All right. Uh, I went to the junkyard this morning and uh, I was looking at a little geo tracker and I noticed they had replaced the uh, the O2 sensor and the way that they spliced it together. I'm looking at these little connectors and I'm going, "What the heck are those things?" Never seen these before in my life. The open one. The little end on screws. Alright, like that. Both ends unscrew. This is a little cap. And you've got this hole in here with a little chrome pin on it. I thought it was a fuse, some kind of inline fuse, but why the hell would you need three? And it actually it had four. It's uh it's like this crimp connector. You put a wire in the little end and you screw it together and it holds them together nice and tight. Um, so I grabbed them all. I'm like, um I got a perfect use for those at home. Let me put it back together before I lose it. And I will lose it. There we go. It's back together. And uh, probably six years ago, I won this distributor. Now, this distributor was brand new. It is brand new. The only thing I did was, you know, paint the base black and uh, put the Allison electronic ignition. Now, the Allison, which is right there, came with it. Uh, I won the whole thing for 60 bucks. I mean, a brand new distributor. Now, the guy listed it as a marine distributor. Well, it's the same thing. It's a Chevy V8. It was the same thing. Went in a boat. Um, I did make my ground this morning for the Allison, which is the purple wire. The black goes to the negative on the coil, and the red goes to the positive on the coil. And then there's four wire, three wires that go to the uh, module. Now, they use the Molex connector. One of those things with three pins. Uh, it's used on a lot of things, but it's very, very open, and these things, basically, they suck. They they fall out, they fall off, they corrode. So I trimmed the lines back, and there's my three Molex wires are gone. I got three of those little, I don't know what to call these things, these little gray uh, barrel connectors. And I mean, they hold nice, incredibly nice. But if I had to, say I had to take the body off for some reason, and I had to disconnect the distributor, I don't have to root wires back. Or say I gotta run the wire through the firewall, I can just disconnect it. Now the only thing I've left is connect the power to the uh, Allison, which is, it's here somewhere. No, that's right, it gets it off the coil. Um, I got a few more things. I never put the, uh, the brass ends on my uh, plug wires. I routed them, I got them all, you know, mounted in those little brackets I made, like the old 50s engine. Routed them underneath nice and clean. But I never put the ends on because I put the bag down somewhere and then I could not find the bag. And I mean, I lost this bag for a month. I just found it uh, the other day and I put it aside. Oh, well, there's my cardboard windshield. Probably couldn't see it too good at 3 o'clock in the morning last night. Because that's when I uploaded the last video. Um, that thing fits good. But I'm going to put these on, because that's really about the, it. The Allison is wired. The uh, coil's in. I know it works, because we tested it out about 20 videos ago. Um, I just have no exhaust. Once I have exhaust and fuel, I can be turning the key and watching it go vroom, vroom. But uh, if I start it without, it's going to be really loud. Really, really loud. And I'm also going to put my ground fuse clamp on, my, uh, what do you call it, fusible link. Uh, I'm thinking probably off of a transmission mount, and uh, somewhere where there's a frame, I'm going to go on the other side. Somewhere there's a frame connection, something heavy. Maybe, maybe the bolt for the uh, motor mount, will that fit? Now that bolt's going through steel, if I even went from... Oh, the engine to the thing, it'd probably work. But there's rubber between this pad and this bolt, so that's the connection I have to make. Um, I don't remember where they used to go normally. It wasn't on the front of the engine. You could put it almost here, but that'd be stupid. 
Um, but I have to connect the block itself to the frame as a ground because it's negative ground. Um, my electric choke has to be connected. That goes up to the ignition. You cannot hook it to the coil. If you hook it to the coil, it will drag the coil down. The coil won't trigger happily. It's a good way to put it. Um, I might use that connection. Who cares? Go from there right to the frame mount. The, the tranny mount. Uh, yeah, tranny mount. The engine mount. Um, it's also my brake line mount, if you remember that. My brake line ends right there for the I-beam. It's in there somewhere. There it is. Um, I think it's one too. There it is. Um, yeah, I'm going to go off this front block. There, right to the mount. Works for me. I am getting rid of that uh, fuel filter. I don't like that thing. It's, they put plastic ends in them now, and... Uh, I didn't know it until after I bought it, and I'm looking at it going, oh, it's plastic. That's friggin' awesome. They made like a universal one versus one we had instead of buying three or four different ones, you just bought the one that fit. And you changed the ends. It was stupid. I did get my fuel line. I don't have, an, uh, I don't have a fuel pressure gauge. I might get one later on. Not like I need to know my fuel pressure. It's either runs or it won't, right? Loving that radiator hose, man. That thing was a perfect fit. I can't believe you see none of that green pipe. It's all inside there. Why did I even paint it? But, alright, I'm going to put this on. And the Allison is connected. I'm going to make sure the Allison has switched ignition power, which would be the coil. So, yeah, that's connected. Um, purple to ground. Black to the coil. That's it. There's three wires on the Allison. There's really nothing to it. I was just concerned about the... The Molex connector, that was a piece of crap. I didn't even have the other half of it. So, But, I mean, that cures that. A little visit to the junkyard this morning. I'm going to look for more of those. Those are pretty neat. This thing, we'll sweep that up later. <laughs> Make another mess. All right. Uh, what are we doing here? I forgot already. Just kidding. Plug wires. Let's put the brass ends on. Those are a lot of fun. Especially if you don't have the tool, of which I don't have the tool. All right, see you in a bit. Well, that was fun. No, it went really good. I'm trying to keep the trash in there. All the little brass caps are on the plugs, on the plug wires. I'm going, hey, how come I don't have power? The one stupid thing I forgot. I need a lead from the ignition switch to the positive side of the coil. Or else we're not giving the Allison or even the engine any power. Um, I also need one that goes from the choke all the way up to the dash. Um, not too shabby. It's right here. And on the other side, coffee. I've got the car all the way forward, so i got to walk around the thing. Kind of corny, but I need one that goes from here. Oh, the way up to my ignition, just yet another wire to go through the firewall that I'm going to have to deal with later. Um, I actually put uh, some BX cable for the two coil wires. I didn't really have to, it was there, but I'm probably just going to strap it to it, to the column, on the top of the side or underneath or something. Uh, wire tie it to here. Uh, my plugs are out. Uh, I should have a spark. Oh, i got to put that ground lead on. I'm going to put the ground lead on. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, cranked it over, and I forgot these um, sleeves are full of WD-40. Not full, but here and there I'd spray a little in. I'm sure it's built up. But a uh, big puff of smoke and a ring came out of this cylinder went that way. Um, I also noticed something about these... Uh, this ignition switch. This is off now. You turn it to the left, it's accessory. But for that split second, you have ignition. Right, there's ignition, right? Right before start. It is off. Now I'm going to the left. For a split second, you have ignition. I can hear the coil going whack. It's uh, discharging. Probably a good reason is that's more of a like a lawnmower key than anything. 
Um, might need to get a new ignition switch. But these, these things aren't the greatest. I've had them in Doom Buggies doing the same thing. If I turn it back, you'll hear the coil go pop. Here. But when I get it all the way to accessory, of course it doesn't do it. And the only thing that is, is an accessory line is this line, which isn't connected to anything. doesn't even have a fuse in it, but it could be radio or something like that. Who knows? But, um, I'm not afraid to turn it over now. I'm sure the WD-40 is gone. Oop, I got a puff of smoke out there. She's that close to starting. That close. Let me make sure these suckers are all tight. Uh, choke wire is still hanging here. Not that I need a choke in the summer. Should probably just unplug it and set it to be uh, open all the time. Um, I also need. I noticed that the, the throttle's very weak. I need that secondary spring. I only got the first one. I need the, the big one that goes outside of it. It's very easy to put this thing to full throttle. I want my block off plate. Oh, my exhaust. Wouldn't that be cool if we had the exhaust going to the cherry bombs, sticking out the side? we got to quit talking and start doing. I know. It sounds good, but uh, the guy that has my exhaust, they fired him. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Tighten my column up here. All right, guys. i got to go to work. You have a good day. Oh, boys and girls, we've got one, two, three things this thing needs to run. A is the block off plate I don't have. Comes with all Edelbrock manifolds, set hanks. B would be a gas tank, which I could sure I could shove the fuel pump line into a tank for now. Um, what the hell else was it? The exhaust, the block off plate, and, and fuel, that's it. Oh, I got a surprise for you. Why oh, you cry, babies? Where's it gonna run? Where's it gonna run? Watch this. See these things laying down here? They do something. I don't know what. We have spark. Just kidding. We got coils connected, ignition lead, plug wires. All done. And yes, they were sparking. Oh, pick up some tools here. I'll get you dizzy. <clears throat> and exhaust. That was that's what the other one was. So exhaust, gas. I'm out of breath. It's actually nice out. We have spark. That is awesome. We have oil pressure too. Let me see if I can get that to kick. All right, first I'll show you the plugs, then I'll show you the oil pressure. There's the plugs one more time. It's funny without the uh, plugs in there. I don't want to burn that starter up. But uh, that's about it. I gotta go to work. I did all your plug wires for you. We got spark on, we got a power lead. Um, exhaust and gas <laughs> and a block off plate. That's about it. Hey guys, have a good day.